Hey everybody, this is Kevin back again with another video on my Acer convertible laptop. And I have Bitwig here. And as you can see, the interface looks different now. Um, I downloaded 1.31 1 um, release candidate and installed it. And now they have scaling of the interface, which is awesome, which is great. You can see that the interface looks a lot better, it fits a lot better. Um, the keyboard here, I have more, uh, you know, the, the buttons are bigger and I have access to more um, keys. And uh, if I open up this menu, before, remember this was uh, scrolling up and down, but now it's the full menu, it fits right in there. Um, I also have this, this menu over here. I'm sorry, the, the inspector over here, and I don't think in, the old version, the inspector was accessible from the play. I'm not sure, but that's there now. Uh, if we go into edit, of course, um, we can uh, enter in some notes or whatever. And this this menu over here doesn't need to scroll up and down. That's great. And in this um, in this screen, screen, I noticed in um, the information or kind of the uh, on the website on the surface book at least there's a button that allows you to have both of these uh, the the trigger mode here and then the layout mode on at the same time like you can in the the normal um, computer layout but that's not here and I don't know why because it looks like we have enough room that we could see both and I I hope that gets added to, you know, across the board. Maybe that's part of an, a beta or something like that. But I would like to have both. But as you can see, I can't really slide this across. I don't think there is a way. I think there's another button right here on the um, on whatever they're, they're doing on the Surfaces book that uh, allows you to have both at the same time. But, you know, of course, you can copy and paste back and forth. Um, so it's not... You know, it's not the worst thing ever or anything like that. Uh, I can switch to these fat trigger buttons here or the skinny ones. I can call up the browser in any one of these windows. Um, so, or the inspector or whatever I need, inspector or browser. So it's really great. Um, and the turnaround was fast on this. I just helped load that video, what, like, I don't know, two weeks ago or whatever, and they've already uh, fixed it. Let me show you what the interface looks like for scaling of the um, of the UI. So there's this new screen here that allows you to change the scaling. This, when I first um, loaded it up, it looked just like it looks now. I haven't messed with this at all, and I, I don't even want to just because it's perfect the way it is. So I guess it automatically understands your aspect ratio and your resolution and it can automatically optimize scaling, which is great. So yeah, this is um, working really nicely. Um, one thing I want to mention is that when I click here on the plus, it doesn't do anything when I just click. Um, and that's because they've changed that for some reason to double click to um, open up the browser. And uh, I don't know why, I, th I thought the single touch was fine, um, but now it's a double touch. So just be aware of that if you're frustrated, like, why isn't this button working? It's a, it's, you have to, and then you can open up a new one. Um, what else? I think that's about it. It's, it's great, the keyboard works great. And uh, the sound works great. I, I'm using the built-in sound. So if there, you know, if you had any question about, hey, does the built-in sound work well? Uh, you know, if it's not a Surface Pro, it does. It works great. I'm also recording my voice through like an H2 that's also plugged in, and there's no conflicts between them. One thing is, is that you, you you're going to have a hard time probably um, if you want to record, you know, like a vocal or a guitar or something, 
with this kind of a setup, um, you know, by the time you are actually hooking up an audio interface, you're pretty much at a desk anyway, so you can afford to have a mouse and everything, and you don't necessarily need to use the touch, and, and, you know, unless you want to, um, which you might want to, indeed, because it is very convenient. But touch will work even outside of this tablet layout, so um, those options are always open. Anyway, I think that's about it, and um, thanks to Big Bitwig for for turning this out so fast and um yeah hope you guys enjoy it if you don't have bitwig already i think this is like a really good time to get into it because uh they're doing some innovative stuff and they're they're working uh, pretty fast these days there was a long lull where there wasn't a lot of changes for months and months and now they're just kind of throwing out so one surprise after the other so yeah if you're not on board um you know, it's, it's a pretty good time to get on board. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And thanks for watching, and we'll see.